Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome to a new day. It is Saturday afternoon, just about 12.30 and I have a pot of pinto beans going right now and I actually put two bags, so two one pound bags that we received from the food pantry some time ago. Uh, these are the packages of the beans and these we could find at the Dollar Tree for $1.25 so Two pounds of uh, pinto beans, two dollars and fifty cents, right here in the pot. And we're gonna make several different um, meals, I guess you can say, out of the pinto beans. And I'll show you when the pinto beans are done. So right now, this will take a couple hours. Um, I basically I've done a video on making pinto beans before, and basically you just go through your bag take out bad ones, any rocks, anything like that, put them in a colander, rinse them out, throw them in the pot, and put some water. I did put some salt in it. Uh, a lot of people do different things when they make pinto beans. Uh, some people soak them overnight. I never did, and it works out fine. Uh, some people put onions and stuff like that. But I'll be making something else out of these pinto beans when they're done, so stay tuned for that. All right, everyone, so uh, the beans are still cooking. Uh, I usually cook them on a low heat, so it takes a little longer because I just don't want them to cook too fast and burn. Um, <laughs> so knowing me, I would end up burning them, so I just cook them slow. But meanwhile, I'm going to start getting ready for what I'm going to make with those beans. Uh, so I took, the, I'm going to take that pot of uh, pinto beans, not all of it, um, but I'm going to make some chato beans. And that's going to be for Glenn. I don't eat chato beans. Oh, I'm missing one thing. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> now I can finish my spiel. All right. So I am going to make some chato beans for Glenn. And if you don't know what chato beans is, it's basically... Mexican cowboy beans. Uh, chato is Spanish for uh, Mexican cowboy or just cowboy. And this would be chato beans. So what I'm going to do is take some of those pinto beans, put them in a, uh, another pan uh, when they're done with some juice. I'm going to put some chorizo in it. This is pork, pork chorizo. I'm going to cut up a jalapeno. This is left from when I made his salsa. So he has a uh, I think he had a couple left. So I'm going to cut up a jalapeno, a fresh one. I'm going to cut up uh, one piece of garlic. We don't want to overpower that garlic on this. And I'm going to cut up an onion. We're going to put some Rotel tomatoes in there. And these tomatoes got little green chilies in them. And I'm going to cut up some bacon and fry it up. And we're going to put that in there also. So that is the making for chato beans you can put whatever you want in it it doesn't have to be chorizo or bacon if you want to put pork some people even put hot dogs in it whatever you want that's what you put in your beans your chato beans all right so now this is for glenn you might be asking what am i going to eat well i usually when i make them chato beans or if i even if i don't make chato beans he'll have a, a bowl of beans it's basically in a soup form i usually take those pinto beans and refry them because you all know i love my refried beans and i'm just going to make myself some bean and cheese crispy tacos uh also known as a quesadilla <laughs> so so it's basically the same form um but yeah that's what i'm going to do so right now i'm going to get all this cut up and prepared uh so i can make that bacon and but I want to get all this cut up too so all right I'm going to cut this first and then go to the bacon and get that fried up all right so I've got everything cut up here I've got I used half of a jalapeno it was a pretty good size uh that's the other half that's left so I used half and then I cut them in slices and then cut those slices in half so that's that uh, I used half of an onion it's a, it was a pretty good size onion for the amount of chato beans I'm going to make. So I didn't want to overload the onion. And then I just diced up or chopped up uh, one piece of garlic. 
and I do not like garlic at all. I do not like the smell. I do not just like anything about it. <laughs> I will use garlic powder in some recipes, but raw garlic I cannot stand, especially the smell. All right, so I uh, cut up the bacon. I'm going to probably start frying that now, so that way everything is ready to go. And then, uh, yeah, so that way I can saute the onions and uh, jalapenos. So the beans are almost done, and uh, yeah, I'm going to get going on the stove. All right, everyone, so right here I got the bacon cooking, and this is the pan I'm going to use to make the chato beans. So when the bacon's done, I'll take it out. I'll use the grease to uh, saute. I'll add a little bit of butter to it, but I'll use that to saute the onions and the jalapenos. Uh, get the chorizo in there. So we'll do that. I might drain a little bit of it because it is quite a bit of grease. And I don't want the chato beans to be full of grease. The chorizo is going to give it enough grease. So I might end up draining some of this uh, bacon grease out of here. And over here you can see is the pot of beans. I just tested some. They're almost done. But not quite. And that's okay. Give you a shot of the beans there. Alright. So we're almost uh, we're almost there on the beans. Alright everyone, so I am going to throw the chorizo in now. And I'm just going to get all this mixture done so when the beans are ready that I can just throw them in here. And you could either let it simmer for a while and let the flavors come together or you can have a bowl right away. Or both. <laughs> So I'm using half a stick of the pork chorizo. And the chorizo is what's going to give the chato beans that orange look. I just turned the heat up so it cook more but I'm gonna go ahead and throw the bacon in and a can of Rotel tomatoes I drained the juice out And then what will make it juicy is the juice from the pot of beans that I'll throw in here. Alright, so we're just going to let this chorizo cook up a little bit more. And then, uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Alright everyone, so... The beans still not quite done, but what I'm going to do, because they're going to simmer in here anyway, 
I'm going to go ahead and take some out, put it in here so they could start just in bringing those flavors together with all this stuff. And then I'll just let the rest of the beans uh, finish cooking. So I'm just going to take a ladle and just transfer some beans over. And I'm going to start bringing more juice over. Now I want to make sure he has enough uh, beans in there. My stove is a mess full of juice. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to put a little bit more of the bean juice in there and then I'm going to cover it, turn the heat down and let it simmer for a while and let these beans finish cooking. And you can see the juice is already red or orange. All right. And that's all there is to making chato beans, also known as cowboy beans. Alright, so I'm going to turn this heat down to about one and a half to two. Cover it up. Let it simmer for a little while until the beans are definitely done. And meanwhile, I'm just going to cover up the other pot of beans and let it finish cooking. And we'll be back when we're done. All right, everyone. So I just wanted to give you a quick look at my refried beans for my uh, bean and cheese crispy tacos. I went ahead and refried some of the beans. There are still beans left in the pot. I'm just melting some cheese into it. But um, the main thing wasn't the refried beans for this video. I'm going to go over more tomorrow with the leftover pinto beans. And... Uh, so yeah, I'll, I'll go over that more tomorrow, but I just wanted to show you that I made myself some refried beans. My dad used to melt cheese in it all the time, so that's what I'm doing right now. But I'll just show you a picture of my crispy tacos when I'm done with them, but the main part of this video was for the chato beans, so I'm going to show you that right now. All right, everyone, so the chato beans are done. They're just kind of staying warm uh, until Glenn's ready to eat. So in the video, it doesn't look as orange as it does like right in front of me, but they are very, very orange. And so that's all it is to making chato beans. Again, uh, Spanish for cowboy beans. But that's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and stay tuned for the next video when I do something with the leftover pinto beans as far as maybe a little meal prepping for myself for lunch and uh, yeah so we'll go over that more in the next video but I just wanted to show you the chato beans so thank you again for taking time out of your day to watch my videos I really appreciate all the support and with that remember to live life be good to yourself and be good to others until next time